Hello, um, and welcome to my channel. I'd like to be like, hello, hello, hi, hi there, how are you doing? Where's Jeffrey do? Hey, hi there, how are you? Anyways, this is Tara Candies, intuitive Tara Candies, Shamrock Kelly, or Tim, whatever you want to call me. So, mm. Today, I'm here to talk about something that has been brought to my attention over and over and over again, and that is religion and being psychic. Okay, the one thing totally understand how <clears throat> how people call psychic mediums or whatever scam artists whatever and m most of them are and it's really sad because there's a few of us that are actually legit and are here for good and that brings me to another topic about oh, these comments. Let's see, this light one. She thinks what a psychic tells her is between her and the psychic and God. God doesn't approve of psychics. It's black magic, which is considered the devil's work. Okay. I can see, I can see that. Um, I make fun, to just be honest, okay, this is, um, this is how I feel and my opinion, so take it for what you want. But because of TV shows and stuff, they do look black magic y, and most of them are. Um, I can only speak for myself, and I believe, you know, in God and um, in the higher good and that you know god sent us here with this gift to help um you know people who need a message there's a lot of stuff and it's i am i'm lost for words because the whole god doesn't approve of psychics <clears throat> How does anyone know what God approves of? Really? Have you guys all went in and talked to him? Because whoever told you that he doesn't approve went and asked him? Have they? I would love to know. Um, because it's so funny because you know what? When it's all over with, when we go to the other side, when we go back home, there's, it doesn't matter what anyone mm. thinks. You know what I mean? Um, we're all just a soul. We are all from the same place. We are all of one gender. And for the people who say that God does not approve of psychics are probably the same people who say God doesn't approve of gay people. And that's funny to me because <clears throat> Because, geez, I didn't realize God was so judgy, you know? I mean, it's kind of funny how you can tell everyone else how to be, and what to believe, and what to do. And really, that's just very judgy, and that's very... It's sad, because everyone's lying to each other. Because you know what, by the end of the day, everyone's going home, people have little addiction problems, people have... You know, spending problems, people have, who knows, people probably not being themselves and not coming out as gay or whatever, or that a psychic because, oh gee, now we can't go to church or God is going to accept me. My parents aren't going to accept me. That's like kind of sucky, you know, it really is. It's really sad that like for re religion to 
always be like, you know, we love everybody, you know, but really, no, no. And it's sad. You know that it took me until I was 30 years old to actually come out as a psychic. Yeah, because of this, because of these kind of things. People would send me Bible quotes, like, okay, I know. Does anyone ask me if I believe in God? Has anyone asked, you know, like, if I am worshiping or whatever they do to animals, what do they do? Like, sacrificing or whatever? In my basement. You know, like, people just assume, assume, because of the storefront psychics with their little cards. I'm sorry, okay? This is gonna, people are gonna hate me for this because I do believe now, you know, that some people are gifted, you know, in the card reading. But angel cards, they're good, they're nice. When you have readings, it's not supposed to be anything negative. You know, when you have people, when you have activity at your house, it's not like a demon. People watch too many shows. Mm. And I can't even watch those shows. I can't. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm just it's so fake. <laughs> but that's a whole nother story. So, so just a little, you know, some, some little info. Because I noticed that there's not any info. On psychic mediums or at least I'm speaking for myself which I don't use any instruments or tools I mean I can because it helps people feel better but I myself am my own instrument and I see flashes in my mind and you know I hear things and it's not always just like in your ears you know you can hear it in your mind it's, anyways I do believe in God, and I am... Um, that was weird. I don't understand. Um, and... You know, you don't have to like... That's just so funny. For God being God. For him not to approve of psychics. Is there a list of things he doesn't approve of? How about bad things? Okay? How about like murders? Or child predators? Okay, God doesn't like those things. But people trying to give, you know, a message from the loved one. That God approves of that. God doesn't approve of people being judgy and making things up. That's all I'm saying, because anyone who goes to one of those storefront psychics and they give them, like, money for one of those candles, or they do the little spell that they can look up on YouTube, I'm sorry, but that's not a psychic. That is just a, that's a scam artist, okay? Um, so, you have to know the difference. So don't. You know, they make a lot of people look bad, but don't make us all look bad. We're not all under that bubble. So, I mean, like my number one book that I love is see, it's Sylvia Brown's Life on the Other Side. This is mm -hmm. seriously like my Bible. You know, you know, we've lived before, we are going to live again. People need to just, people need to stop, you know? Anyways. Everyone have a good day, and I will be back. Let me know if you have a question. Um, comment and share, like, subscribe, and if you have a question, if you'd like me to, um, you know, answer it or anything about psychics or, you know, or what you know is my answer. You know, mm. I do actually have mm. a doctor in metaphysical science, mm. but to mm. say. If you'd like me to do a video on anything, just let me know and 
comment. Thank you. Bye.